Hey there, my wonderful friends. Welcome back to White Tiger Qigong channel. Your go-to place for embracing positivity and vitality. I'm beyond excited to have you here today as we dive deep into the beautiful art of Qigong flow. Today's session isn't just about movements. It's about unleashing your inner power and finding balance in every breath. We'll explore two of the eight trigram organ qigong exercises and weave them into a mesmerizing flow that'll leave you feeling invigorated and centered. Qigong has been my guiding light, helping me navigate life's twists and turns with grace and resilience. And I believe it can do the same for you. It's not just about physical strength, it's about nourishing your mind, body, and spirit. I want the space to be more than just a channel. It's a community where we uplift and support each other. So, don't hesitate to jump into the conversation, share your thoughts, your progress, or even your challenges in the comments section below. Your journey matters, and your experiences can inspire others. So, my amazing friends, if you're ready to embark on this transformative journey, and if you're ready to tap into your limitless potential, then join me. Let's create magic, let's find our flow, and let's make every moment count. So if you're ready, let's begin. Hey there, my wonderful friends. Let's first begin standing comfortably in our tanjong. Feet are open at shoulder width apart. Feet are grounded with 10% tension. Knees are softly bent. Sacrum dropping towards the earth. And as you inhale, feel your spine connecting to heaven through your crown point. You can put your hands in your lower dantian, located three fingers below the navel. Let's begin here by connecting to our life source. In order for us to connect to our own flow, first, we will connect to our own stillness. Not only physical stillness, but also stillness in our mind, in our emotions. Now, let's add more life into this stillness by using our breath. As you inhale, feel your belly, feel your ribs, feel your chest. And as you exhale, exhale from the pinhole of your mouth. Exhaling longer than your inhale. You can join me as I count. Inhale. One, two, three, four. Exhale. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Do this for a few more rounds on your own. This breathing technique is called the cleansing breath. As you inhale, you fill your body with oxygen, replenishing your organs. And as you exhale from the pinhole of your mouth, you exhale the old chi, old energy, while maintaining the fresh energy that you have gathered. And now begin to finish your final round of breath. Now, as you finish your final exhale for your cleansing breath, begin to put your hands on the side, relax, and let's begin to shake it out. As you shake it out, release any tensions in your muscles, in your joints, as well as in the organs. So you can begin to twist your torso to the side as you shake it out, squeezing those excess toxins in the organs. Release, and now twist towards the other direction. Feel this gentle massage in your body, in your organs. This exercise is known as the exercise of letting go. So as we shake it out, we're not only shaking out the tensions in our body, we're also releasing the tensions in our mind, in our emotions, any thoughts, any emotions that doesn't serve us. This is very essential for us to find our flow. If there are blockages, in our body, in our mind, in our emotions, it's difficult to find our flow. 
So, by letting go, we open up our body to receive flow, to receive fresh energy. You can feel free to play around with this. Again, you can twist your torso if need be, especially if you feel like there are a lot of tensions in your organs that needs to be released. You can shake one leg, finding your balance as you shake it out. Release. And now, shake out the other leg. If ever you lose your balance, it's fine. Just come back in. And now, release back to center. And now, begin to shake it smaller and faster. Release and hold the chi in the center of your palms as you exhale. As you inhale, feel it expand. Exhale, compressing the chi in the center of your palms. Feel free to follow your own breath, own rhythm, beginning to find your flow as you listen to the natural rhythm of your body. Now hold the energy in the center of your palms, shift your weight to your right leg, lift your left leg as you stretch it out wider than shoulder width apart, Slowly find your way towards your center and slowly move your hips side to side, allowing the rest of your body to follow through. Allow the center of your palms to stay connected as you slowly bend forward with your upper body, feeling as if you're rolling an invisible energy ball in the center of your palms. So for every movement that we add, continue to find your rhythm, allowing your breath to lead the movements. Continue moving with your hips as you feel a gentle opening through the sides of your legs. You can slowly shift towards your left leg, continuing moving through your hips. Nice feeling that gentle and deeper opening in those sides of the legs. And just slowly shift towards the right. Now come back to center. And now slowly rise up. While doing the same motion with your hips, slowly coming back to neutral center. And now we will go back to Tanjong. Awesome, now you guys, our next exercise is called the Girdle Vessel Rotation. Rub your palms together and then put it in your lower back. Slowly circle it out, starting from small circles, spiraling out. Gradually making the circles bigger and bigger. So you can imagine as if your tailbone is a pen drawing a spiral going outwards and so once you've reached the fullest extension of your hip circles gradually make the circle smaller and smaller until you come back to center don't forget to breathe naturally don't let go of the flow of your breath your breath defines the beginning of your flow once you come back to center, feel free to rotate towards the other direction, doing the same thing, starting from small circles, spiraling it out. And again, breathe. If the breath is not smooth, then our movements cannot be smooth. So does the rest of the parts of our being, our body, our mind, our spirit. Now once you've reached the fullest extension of your hip circles, start to spiral in, making the circles smaller and smaller until you come back to center. Great. Good job, guys. Now, let's go back to stillness for a little while, coming back into our wuji stance. In Chinese, wuji means the ultimate nothingness. The meaning of this nothingness in Wuji means that when we come back to our emptiness, to stillness, then we can tap into our infiniteness. 
So when we are able to balance movement and stillness, that is when I say we have reached a certain mastery of movement. And that is when we can truly flow from within and without. So the art of Qigong flow isn't just your mastery of motion. It is also your mastery of stillness, of finding and knowing that flow internally and externally. Put your hands in your lower dantian, connecting back to our life source, remembering the intention that you have set when you began this practice today. And if you haven't, then you can begin to create your intention at this moment. Now, let's begin with our first A trigram organ qigong exercise, the spiral palms. Adjust to a comfortable space if you need to. Shift your weight towards your right. Open to wider than shoulder width apart and sink down to your horse stance. Gather your hands right in front of your lower dantian as if you're carrying an invisible ball. Twist your upper body towards the left, isolating the upper and the lower body. From here, gently lift your hands up a little bit over your head and then flip your palm so that it faces the heaven. Do this as you twist your torso towards the other side, extend your arms to the back, scoop it in, and then go back to your first position. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Twist. Lift your hands up a little bit over your head. Flip the palms towards the heaven. Twisting the torso towards the other side. Extend the arms back. Scoop it in. And now let's do it again for a couple more rounds. Following your own face, your own rhythm. Feel free to repeat this part as many times as you need. Scoop it in, twisting the torso, lifting the palms, flip the palms up as you twist towards the other side, extend the arms, and scoop it in. And again, twist, lift the palms, flip the palms, extending the arms to the back, scoop it in. And twist, lift. Flip the palms as you twist towards the other side, extend the arms, and scoop it in. Now let's do one more round on each side, evening each side for our spiral palms. And now as you scoop in, Let's close and go back to our Tanjong. As we close, lift your hands up to shoulder level, circle it up, and now push it down to the earth. As you stand here in Tanjong, open up your arms to the side, Wuji stands, just allowing our energy to flow more freely in our body. And now let's put our hands in our lower dantian, connecting back to ourselves, listening to any sensations of chi or energy. And now let's begin to relax and let's prepare ourselves for our next 8 trigram organ qigong exercise, serving teacups. So again, shift your weight towards your right leg, open your left leg wider than shoulder width apart, gather your hands in front of you, left palm over your right. From here, twist your torso towards the left as you pull the left palm back and extend the right palm forward. Move your arms towards the left followed by your gaze. From here, gather your hands over your lower dantian, extend it backwards, Bending the upper body as far as you can, and then from here, you're going to rotate the upper body followed by your hands with your gaze following the center of your palms until you reach back to center. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Shift the palms, twist, followed by the arms. Gather your hands in your lower dantian, extend to the back. And now rotate the torso, followed by the arms and the hand, your gaze follows the center of your palms. Right back to the center, and again. 
feel free to find your flow in this movement. Take your time. If you need to come back to some of the instructions, feel free to do so. You can also choose to watch first and then come back in. Once you feel more confident with the movement, you can find your flow better. You're doing a great job. Just keep practicing. And last round, evening out each side. And great job. Now let's close back to our Tan Chong. Lift your hands up, circling it up, and press it down to the center line of your body, pushing it down to the earth. Let's stand in our Wuji stance. Or feel free to shake it out here if you need to. You're doing a great job. And now, wherever you are, whether if you're coming from the Wuji stance or the shaking it out, just come back to standing and now what we will do is that we will link the two palms together the spiral palms and the serving teacups feel free to watch the first few rounds and then come join me when you're comfortable we'll begin with the spiral palms so slowly shift your weight to your right open your left leg to widen the shoulder width apart sink down to as far as you can gather your hands in front of the lower dantian now begin to twist lift your hands Flip the palms up, extend the arms to the back, and gather in. Instead of gathering to your lower dantian, extend it all the way to the front, and let's continue to do the serving teacups. Swing your arms to the left, gather your hands to your lower dantian, extend all the way to the back, rotate your torso, followed by the arms, your gaze following the center of your palms, and now circle it in. Now we will connect it to spiral palms on the other direction, twist, lift, flip the palms, extend the arms to the other direction, scoop it in all the way to the front, right into your serving teacups, gather your hands in your lower dantin, extend to the back as you coil your torso, rotate your torso, Followed by the arms, your gaze following the center of your palms, rotating all the way in. And now, let's connect it to the spiral palms again on the other direction. Feel free to find your flow. I know in the beginning, it could be a challenge. But just keep practicing. You're doing a great job. Let's finish one more link palms on each side.
Now, as you circle in, let's come back to our Tanchong. Lift your arms up to shoulder level, circling it up, pushing it down to the center line of your body. Now, relax in your Tanchong. Open up to Wuji stance, tinching, listening energy. Listen to any sensations of energy or chi in your body. And from here, let's begin our four gate breathing. As you inhale, feel the energy in your lower dantian expand. As you exhale, feel it in the center of your palms and feet. Do this for a few rounds on your own, relaxing here for a moment. Sometimes you can only feel the energy in the center of your palms, and that is fine. Feel free to just feel the energy in the center of your palms if you need to. And now let's put our hands in our lower dantian. Feel free to stay here for a couple more minutes if you need to, but if you need to end this practice with me today, then just follow. Begin to become aware of your surroundings, the air brushing to your skin, the sounds around you, the taste of your tongue, and now slowly release your hand to the side and open to wide-eyed vision. Thank you for joining me today. And I hope that this Qigong practice has helped you find your flow throughout the day. Thank you for showing up and doing the work today. Feel free to come back to this video anytime you need. Until then, have a wonderful Qifu day. Hello again, my wonderful friends. As you are wrapping up today's practice, I just want to express again my sincere gratitude and appreciation for your presence and work for today. If this video was helpful, I hope that I can ask for a small favor by clicking the like button so that more people can benefit from this video. Also, we post one video per week, so if you haven't subscribed or clicked the notification bell, please do so so that you will be notified when we upload videos. If you have any suggestions or questions, please feel free to comment them in the comments section below. We try our best to answer them personally so that we can connect with you. Thank you again and see you again on the next videos.